I didn't know what critical race theory was until I enrolled my daughter in her public school district for her first year in kindergarten. My name is Nicole Solis. I'm a stay-at-home mom in Rhode Island and I have two children. Initially, I called my school district to ask if they were teaching gender theory or critical race theory. They essentially said that they were teaching it in something called common practices. They refused to tell me what exactly that line of thinking was. With gender theory, they said that they embed the values of gender identity into the classroom at every age and every class at an age appropriate level. I was concerned that they would be teaching my children values that they have no say over. My school keeps telling me to file these public records requests. They refuse to answer my questions or other questions of other people in the community. Finally, um, one day, my school put my name on the agenda of a public school committee meeting where they said that they were going to openly discuss suing Nicole Solis for filing over 160 public records requests. These were the public records requests that they told me to submit. They had a five hour long public school board meeting where they openly discussed my moral character, they called me racist, they debated my political motivations, they invited people in my community to speak against me as if they were witnesses speaking against me at a show trial. They put all of my public records requests onto a big screen and organized them into various categories as if they were admitting evidence against me in my trial. They even said things like, why would anyone want to harm BIPOC children by asking these questions? The implication, of course, being that simply asking questions about public education is harming children. The role of public school is to teach math, writing, and reading. They are not there to teach our children what to think about anything. They're there to teach them how to think. Ultimately, my school board decided not to sue me, but two months later, the National Education Association, the largest teachers union in America, did sue me for submitting public records requests about critical race theory and gender theory in school. And these are the same public records requests that my school district told me to submit. They're suing me to bully me and harass me and send a message to other parents that if you ask questions about critical race theory and gender theory in school, they will also try to silence you. I was living a private life. Um, I've never done this before. I've never been politically active. I've never been in the media but I couldn't let my school district and my teachers union bully me in such a public manner. Parents have an absolute right to know what their kids are learning in school. Your school district should not be hiding education from you. You have a right to know what teacher lesson plans are, what the materials are. You have a right to know what books your children are reading in class. You have a right to object to books that your children are reading. And it's not up to the school to tell you whether your objection is valid.